2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Tonight, it'll be the Phoenix Suns going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for Cleveland, their season starts away from home. Presents an interesting challenge. Every team wants to start out the year right, but they're going to have to block out a lot of noise to grab that first victory. And you love the build-up to a new season. Lots of anticipation. Shaq, what are you looking for? There were some VIMs this offseason. Very interesting moves. On the oh, team. you like that? Okay, yeah. I understand. And, and you got to understand, that kind of shift, that right there can shift the balance of power. Wow. The last year, the Eastern and Western Conference was balanced out. Well, we'll see if the trend reverses this year. And uh, that'll take it right up to tip as we go courtside. Downtown Phoenix on a bright and sunny day as we come to you from Arizona. This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Berg here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. And here's what the Cavaliers' schedule looks like. On Friday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. And then on Sunday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Boston Celtics. And for their matchup with the Celtics, it's always interesting for top teams to see how they compare to the best in the East. This will be a chance to see just what this group is made of. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Ashman and Love are the forwards. And it's Thompson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Suns, Sharage and Aiton at the four and the five. Rubio and Booker, they're the backcourt. And it's Oubre in at the small forward. Here we go. Early on, players vying for larger roles and more minutes. And Doris, always interesting to see how all of that materializes. Yeah, Kev, I think unless you have a veteran team who's maybe been in the playoffs and established themselves, there's nothing set in stone yet. Obviously, guys are looking to prove themselves from the very moment that ball is tipped up in the air. And who gets a rhythm early? Who starts off strong? Let's see. I'm looking forward to it as well. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Here's Thompson. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, Thompson just so focused. Even with the defense in his face, he still has the poise to be able to knock down shots. Aiton against Thompson. Here's Sharich, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Now, here's Sexton. Pass to Love. Back to Sexton. Six on the shot clock. Garland kicks to Osman. Love, no luck, and it's the Suns' ball. Not exactly a game that everyone will be talking about here, but both of these teams can show flashes at times. We're seeing two teams that could be building more for the future, trying to instill a winning culture, and we'll see which team takes a step in that direction. There's 14 seconds left in the first quarter. Sexton deciding where to go with it. And it's Aiton with the rebound. All by himself, trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Suns ahead, up by four. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. What stands out to you from the Suns in this one? 
Well, when, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, we've got Nance. Porter is out there with Clarkson. Then there's Kevin Love, and it's Windler in at the three spot. Five to shoot, and now Clarkson pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Good. Clarkson's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Cavs. Well, how about the steal off? Great anticipation by Clarkson, then the kick ahead. Perfectly done. Occupying that instant offense roll, Doris, Jordan Clarkson able to get his shot anytime. No doubt, Kevin. Uh, he's a little bit of a streaky scorer. The challenge is on the defensive end. That's where he has to really improve if he's going to stay on the floor and impact winning. And so it's Cleveland with it. Phoenix able to drain the three. Porter against Johnson. It's stolen by Nance. Here's Porter. Johnson with the defensive effort. Suns leading by five. Here's Bridges. Poked away. Porter with the steal. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Pass to Baines. Suns moving the ball around. Here's Kaminsky. Two points. That one goes. Kaminsky's got the lead back up to five now for the Suns. God, he is just so tough to guard. He can fake you one way and then use that beautiful spin to just blow by you. Love the pass to Clarkson. It's Porter outside, and that one released in time, but no good. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Suns lead by five. 2K Sports back to Phoenix after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. For the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. They did jump out to a lead in the opening period, but four points was the biggest it got. And guys for the Suns, Kenny, what do you think? You can see where the priorities are. <laughs> rebounding, rebounding, and then more rebounding. They made a concerted effort to get the glass clean. Looking at Cleveland, Shaq, your thoughts. Well, they're not matching up well defensively, giving up a lot of open looks, a lot of easy points. They're allowing a crazy high shooting percentage, 60% and up. Time to step it up quick. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Well, who are some of the up-and-coming shooting guards in the league that you have noticed have got uh, a very high ceiling? Well, I'm going to mention two guys who I think could be considered combo guards, guards who can play one or two, and who I think their organizations are still trying to figure out their best position. But two of the most dominant young guards in the league who are going to be a problem for over a decade. Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell. Both guys can create their own shot. Both can get off the dribble drive. Both could light you up for over 50 a night. Devin and Donovan, two names to keep an eye on. Rubio and Booker, they're the backcourt. Sharich and Aiton at the four and the five. And it's Oubre in at the three, the small four. That's the five to begin the second half for Monty Williams. Here's Booker, down to five on the shot clock. No good from 11 feet. Well, you look at the Suns going forward. They have got to believe a big part of the puzzle is DeAndre Ayton. This guy was the number one overall pick in last year's draft. Osman kicks to Garland. Trying to get open is Thompson. Garland, no good. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. And the basket by Rubio. 
Well, the balance that Ricky Rubio has, even under duress, stays calm and finds a way to score it. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The train, good on the triple. Oswin's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Rubio looking it over. There's the pass to Ubre. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And here is Garland. And here's Love from the arc. And so it's Phoenix with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. Back right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. And to me, G.A., you love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. On the court for Cleveland. Manning the backcourt. It's Sexton and Clarkson. Then it's Nance. Then it's Porter. And it's Osman in at the four. Here's Bridges. Offensive rebound. Here's Sharch. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Sharch has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Phoenix. Clarkson with the ball. Here's Sexton. Nance trying to break loose. The shot by Sexton, no good. I think burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so it's Cleveland with it. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Here's Clarkson. Phoenix grabs the miss. Aiton's got his fifth rebound in this one. Johnson surveying the floor. On the wing, Booker. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, Devin Booker has proven to be a capable shooter from every spot on the floor, including the free throw line. This guy has become a must-watch. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though, and Phoenix making a change here. Oubre's checked in. Then for the Cavaliers, Thompson comes in for Porter. And it's Garland in for Colin Sexton. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Cavaliers have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Left side, Nance. There's 45 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Shot clock at five. It's deflected. That's an encouraging sign for sure. Boy, when DeAndre Ayton is hustling and focused, he can send it back with the best of them. The shot by Charge, no good. And so it's Cleveland with it. Eight-point game. The wide open look here for Garland. Cleveland gets it back. Here's Osman. Pass to Clarkson. There's the triple. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Johnson up top. So the Suns win it. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. 
Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.